destiny has always been something that's confused me. Not the game Destiny, I know exactly why that's a piece of shit. I mean, just the whole Destiny thing. Like a feeling like there's just something inescapable. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, no matter how far or hard you run, there's just always going to be that destiny there, whatever it is. Um, it's been a long time. I find that it's been like six, seven months, half a year, and it's been a good time, man. And I, I, don't, I don't think this is going to result in anything, no, no more than what I allow, you know? But yesterday is the first day of my Christmas vacation. Friday went in 8 to noon. Got a half day off, right? Paid us the full day. Took the half day off. Going to work, get home. Just hung out with Dennis and James, played fall, uh, Fallout fucking all day, man. It was so much fun. I had such a good time. Lost track of time. I was like, fuck, well, I guess I'm not making a video today. <sighs> Go to bed. Wake up. Start my first full day off work. Right, take a shit. I'll take my phone with me. See what's what's going on. And I had a notification. To what? 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 It's my bleary eyes should appear. But a Twitter notification that you have been followed by Joy Sparkle Army. And I'm like, man, haven't I done enough? Haven't I sacrificed enough? I've been, I've been fucking trying to get out of this shit longer than I was involved. It's lots, twice as long as I was involved at this point, I think. I've, you know. And my first thought was, this is new, obviously. Obviously, this is new. Everybody was telling me that Joy was back, whatever that's supposed to mean. And apparently, and I'm going to throw this all just on Joy. I might be wrong with all of my, uh, all of my assumptions, but I don't think I am. I think Joy has planted in the minds of people. She needs to have a force at her beck and call. Or else, people are just fucking idiots and bored and they have nothing better to do with their time. So they decide, well, I'm going to be Joyce Sparkle Army. Pester people for joy. And I'm like, alright, well, let's find out if this is some shit that I'm actually going to have to deal with. Or if this is just somebody who's fucking stupid. And doesn't realize how bad of a decision it was for them to make this account. And, and to bother with all this shit. How much of a plague this is going to be in their life. And they don't even realize. So, <clears throat> I fired off some angry messages. Some angry fucking, why are you following me? I, j just leave me alone messages. Right? Thinking to myself, this will be, be where we'll figure out what the fuck's going on. And I get back a response, and I was like, well, look at that shit. And the response was, I started this because I'm tired of seeing the people bullying Joy online, and I'm doing my part. So I'm like, all right, so you got a script. Fantastic. It's like, well, leave me the fuck alone. Don't, don't fucking tweet at me, and don't fuck. I'm not involved. I've worked very hard to not be involved. Just seeing you brings back all manner of shit to just fucking, man. And I went on and on and on. And I kept getting back, 
Well, I just wanted to stand up for joy because it's wrong. But I... <sighs> so I fucking, I'm going back and forth with this person. And I'm getting more and more angry because I'm like, you're just, you're just some dummy. It's like, you're just some dummy that heard of Joy, what, a month ago? And she's pumped your head full of fucking lies and idiocy about how she's important and people care about her. And everybody wants to be involved with pissing all over Joy. Whereas everybody else is like, oh God, why are you bringing her up to me again? And this person doesn't realize that that is going to be their the, the fucking reaction they're going to get to shit. I'm like, oh, this is going to be fun. So I start kind of taking screenshots and shit and like sending them to Benji because I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to convince this person to shut this fucking this this page down. I'm like, I'm at least gonna, I'm at least gonna get them to fucking give up the shit for Christmas. You know, I'm like, I'm gonna at least convince them to not be a prick for the holidays, for fuck's sake, right? You know, we're laughing back and forth, and, you know, and so, uh, what up, Benji, if you're watching this, and so, I'm fucking like, you know, just, and then they're, they they send back to me, you know, I, I tweeted about this, and I hope you appreciate it. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, no. I'm like, don't, don't mention me. Don't, don't, fuck. Because I'm like, please delete that. Because now people are going to see that shit, and they're going to think that I somehow know anything about you other than you're an idiot. And I... So I fucking, I pretty much laid out for this person the whole fucking thing. I'm like, nobody, nobody cares. Nobody cares about Joy. You're defending somebody nobody gives a fuck about. And you're going to find out real quick that people are going to get extremely hostile to you just because of your name and your stupid screen picture, your fucking idiot in his ski mask. I'm like, dude, you just, I'm like, you look like... A, a, a channel that is designed specifically just to pester motherfuckers. Just to be an annoying piece of shit. I'm like, you realize the people that you're getting involved with here? The doxing, the harassment, the nastiness, the bullies from your side. Like, you, I'm like, you realize that's who you are now. That's who you are. That's who people are going to see you as. When you come at them with your Joy Sparkles Army tag and your fucking idiot a ski mask, I'm like, that's exactly what they're going to think. They're going to think you're one of those people that now is going to be a problem for them in their real life. And they're like, well, we're not about all the doxing and stuff like that. And I'm like, so? So what? I'm like, it doesn't fucking matter what you're into. You have a lot... If I walked around saying, yeah, I'm a member of Antifa, I mean, I'm not into, like, the breaking windows and burning things stuff, but, you know, I'm... Yeah, I'm with Antifa. People are gonna be like, fuck it, what, Then why don't you tell those assholes to stop breaking windows and burning shit? Like... So, like, it doesn't matter what you're into and what you're not, and what you're opposed to or not. You are one of those people now. You're a scum-sucking piece of shit. Congratulations. And this is what you're going to get. <clears throat> and, I, you know, I wound up thinking maybe I can actually fucking get into, like, actually convince this person to just stop. And so I, I sent them, uh, they wanted to know, they were like, uh, you said you had a history with Joy. Can you uh, give me the Cliff's Notes versions of that? And at first I'm like, no. I'm like, fuck you. Like, just... I'm sitting here telling you what a piece of shit I think you are, and you haven't even done anything to me yet. It's just from the way you've portrayed yourself. And I'm already mad at you. And now you want me to start telling you? No. I'm like, no. And then as time went on, I was like, all right, all right, all right look. And I went through, and I, I unlisted, I unprivated and unlisted 
the Dear Joy video, and I gave them the link. And I said, "There, this is this is pretty much the history of me and Joy." And they watched it, and they were like, "Wow!" After watching that, that has given me a whole new perspective on things. And I'm like, "Eh," and I'm like, "You want you want some more perspective?" And I sent them a video that I had made. I don't even think I I've been doing this kind of shit for not even six months, and already the fucking topic had come up, and I sent them the video I made, old video, where the title of it was "The Problem Is You, the Audience." <laughs> it was all talking about how you dummies in the audience, you all think you're gonna be a part of the show, so you decide to oh man, this guy will really appreciate it if I tell this other person to go and hang themselves, you know, and and you think that that works and it doesn't, and we hate that shit, and you guys don't get it, but you keep on keeping on. Joy Sparkles Army, man, coming to get you. <laughs> so I sent them that shit, too, and I, I, I did broker an agreement with them. So if you get any shit from Joy Sparkles Army, uh, I don't think my audience would, but if there's anybody watching that gets any shit from them, you can tell them that they made a fucking deal with me. That Christmas is off limits. But you can't just sit there and talk shit from your side and then go... Oh, oh. No, you, you all have to fucking not be doing shit. Because it's part of the deal. You don't instigate, they don't fucking react. They don't instigate, you don't fucking react. That's how it works. We're not being dicks for this Christmas. Right? That's the rule now! We're going to become the arbiter of when we get to be dicks for Christmas. Always. Because I say no all the time. Not that best. I've been voted every year. I decide who gets to be assholes for Christmas, and it's nobody. Anyways. So, I did broker that agreement. And, and sure as fucking shit, man. Eh, hour and a half, maybe two hours later... I get a fucking another DM from somebody else going, I saw that you were mentioned by this person, and these people have harassed me to the point where I'm thinking about suing some of them, and I'm wondering if you know who this person is. And I'm like, no, I don't know who they are. I'm not involved. And because nobody understands me when I speak English to them anymore, apparently, they decided to tweet, send me the tweet of the person saying, oh, I just talked to Ego Castanian, and it was nice of him to PM me. Send me that, and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I didn't say they didn't send the message. I didn't say I didn't talk to them. I said, I don't know who they are, and I'm not involved. <laughs> and, then, and, and it's been nothing since. And believe it or not, I've actually, like, because I, I was going to make this video yesterday, but I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm like, in this type of thing, it totally shatters anything that I have in, in mind. This is another one of the reasons why some days you don't get videos, some shit like this happens. And I go, there's no fucking way I'm going to do a video about anything else. Because this is right now the thing that is setting my fucking scalp on fire, and I have to talk about it. But I'm like, I'm so, like, I, dude, I was so angry. You gotta understand, man, this is, I'm looking at a weekend of this fucking horseshit. And I'm like, I swear to God, if I wind up talking to Joy again on Christmas, I'm gonna lose my fucking shit. <laughs> so I'm just like, I, I, you know, I'm not involved. Just leave me alone. Oh, you idiots with your Joy shit. Leave me alone. And I knew, and I, t I said, please delete that, because I don't, man, and, and sure as shit. So they were talking about you. Do you know who they are? No. No. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told them. Leave me alone. I don't care. You've all brought this on yourself. You really don't sit there and get the fucking complain because people are pestering you when you started off pestering somebody to the point where they got their audience involved to pester you. Nobody's good anymore. Nobody's good. 
And it's been so long, nobody even remembers who started the whole thing. Nobody has a clue who started the first shot. You're all just people fighting at this point. So you're all just assholes. None of you are good anymore. It's gotten so deep and nasty that none of you are good anymore. None of you. So you need to just, just stop. Uh, but I'm keeping true to my word that I, I'm going to burn these things to the ground. Because I, <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing this shit anymore. So anytime any one of you decides that you're going to interact with me in any way, I'm going to make you rethink your life decisions. <laughs> and I'm going to get truces. And I'm going to get deals made. And I'm going to burn it to the ground. Because you all need to be corrected. <laughs> I'm going to burn it down. Oh my god. Anyways. Anybody watch The Shining? It's a good Christmas movie. Anyways. So... <clears throat> Yeah, there you go. That was how I started my Christmas vacation. Literally, I woke up, went to go take a shit and check out things on my phone. Maybe play a little Marvel Puzzle Quest, I don't know. And and the first thing I the first thing I see with light attached to it. And it's you've been followed by the joy spark. And I'm like, but all is well, not a idiot is scurrying, not even a poopy. <laughs> there you go. Still flipping the game boards. Dude, the last time I made one of these videos, no shit, the last time I made one of these videos was seven months ago. Seven months ago. And you know what I'm going to get after making this one? I'm one of you people. One of you. And this is, oh, we're 17, almost 18 minutes in. Man, you know, nobody's going to listen long enough. Nobody's going to be paying attention at this point. Everybody's going to already put their comments in. Somebody's going to fucking comment. I thought you weren't going to be doing any more of these videos. And I'm going to be like, look, I said I'm not going to have her in the videos anymore. And I'm not going to talk about things that she's talking about in respects to her talking about them or whatever. I imagine we have cross topics, whatever. But nevertheless, and I'm like, and, and but whenever this shit happens, I'm going to squash it. Every single time. And, and it's been so long. And everybody's going to act like this is now what I'm going to do every day. And I want to be like, it's been literally seven months since the last time I did one of these dumb fucking videos. And you can't, you can't, no. I've, I've got enough of an established thing here where you can't act like this is about to be a problem. It isn't going to be a problem. It isn't going to be a problem. It isn't going to be a problem at all. Because it's done. It's done. There's no fucking way that... Joyce Funkles wants me to start fucking talking about her again. There's no way she wants that. Because I'm too good. <laughs> I'm not as inflammatory as everybody else is with her. I don't call her names. Well, I do. But it's funny and cute when I do it. Because I do it in a funny and cute manner. And, and I really critique her very well and I really break her down psychologically and all of her lies and tactics and little tricks that she uses and I make it to where she can't do that shit and she could never do that shit against me because I'd just be like nah uh -uh. it's your sickness bitch we're gonna, we're gonna ignore your sickness whatever doesn't matter she doesn't want me to get back into the game I don't want to get back into the game none of you want me to get back into the game nobody wants to be in the game the only people who want to be in the game is her and the other dummies in her audience that are pretending like there's an issue with her, and there isn't. Nobody cares about Joy. Anyways. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I just wanted to fucking rant that shit out just to get it out of my head. I've been holding on to this for over a day now. But, oh my god, man, when I saw that shit... 
and then to get another message from somebody else, I'm, I'm just like, dude, I swear, Christ, if this is all weekend on my phone, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. But, so far, it's good. We're all good. Everything's cool, man. We're all good. So we're all good. Just... What a wild ride this whole YouTube thing has been. <laughs>